This is an E. coli sacculus tilt series. In the zero tilt image, the sacculus is outlined by a yellow dotted line. This is a slice by slice view of the tomogram. The sacculus is outlined by a yellow dotted line. The sacculus is flattened, so it appears wider than an intact cell. Here is a slice by slice close up view of the sacculus. Each slice is a 6 nanometer thick average. Here the densities are shown as isosurfaces. Only the strongest and longest density tubes were included in the isosurface for clarity. The isosurface is rotated to present a view perpendicular to the sacculus long axis. Note that after collapsing, the sacculus appears corrugated. Here, the slice-by-slice -slice close up is shown below the isosurface. Each slice corresponds to a projection of the densities highlighted in solid red. The projected slice and the corresponding isosurface densities are concurrently translated from the bottom to the top of the tomogram. Since the sacculus is corrugated, only strips of the sacculus are visible in any given slice, with buffer in between. In this particular slice, the strips of sacculus are boxed in red, and the intervening low density buffer is boxed in yellow. This is a closer view of the sacculus. Here, yellow and green colors have been used to distinguish the top and bottom halves of the sacculus. Details of the glycans, like bumps, branches, and kinks, cannot be interpreted at the current resolution and do not reflect their conformations in an intact cell because the sacculi are collapsed. The thin tube like glycan strands have an oval cross section as expected because of the point spread function of the imaging system.